All right, now after that awkward little tr cut, <laughs> trying to choose to go left or right. Right might lead to up, because like there is a platform up there with a the blue thing. Although it's probably just a, I think blue things are just battery charges, so they don't necessarily matter. But I think it was placed there to taunt me with the idea that there's something to do there. Also, that's a platform. Can I get back up? Uh. <sighs> Do not trust. Also, I can barely see. They did some, like, crazy, like, Instagram filter shit on the screen that's, like, really making it hard to see in certain areas. Like, I remember when I had a DeviantArt account and I would do, like, these filters that would change the color scheme a bit. Oh, there's a staircase here that I just couldn't see in the darkness. <laughs> it's invisible! Yeah, this is completely washed out. You can't see anything, and it doesn't feel entirely intentional. It feels like the game was designed in a different context a bit, and then, like, they put a color filter over it afterwards at some point. Maybe we should check the uh, graphic settings. These don't seem super relevant. What's Asus Aura? I don't know what Asus Aura is. <laughs> I don't think I even have the right hardware for that. That seemed to immediately... Maybe help, kind of? Not that, did it? Not necessarily. It's really hard to compare. I need like a split screen. I can't tell. I'm kind of just playing with what I know I have on hand, basically. I think subsurface scattering has more to do with like the lighting on people's like skin and stuff and on like water. But I don't necessarily know. Chromatic aberration, lens flare, bloom. Bloom shouldn't be affecting that kind of spot, should it? No. Because Bloom's about lighting. I mean, it's still lighting oriented, but no, it's it's about like the effect that bright stuff has, usually. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I think it's just going to deal with the fact that there's areas of the game that practically blind you. It feels like the they designed the zones and lighting in one context, and then somebody w decided to apply this, like, <gasps> kind of a- oh, that's two of them. Kind of obnoxious, like, full-screen Instagram filter over everything. That, like, crushed the blacks. What's up, buddy? Yeah. It's not super impressive, but somewhat lazily just kind of poking at them is incredibly more effective than trying to carefully engage with, like, the, uh, the parry and, and other systems. Like that. <laughs> oh, that really is so much easier. How do, how do I backstab? It's like the ability went away. I'm pretty sure you just go up behind them and use the light attack. How? But it just it just stopped working at some point. I gotta start attacking their more armored parts though. I need more I need more real gear. I need to be able to upgrade my stuff. And these, in these easier encounters are the time to do that. So that's very... Oh, that was... Um, that was... That came at me. Hi. Oh, shit, he jumped up.
I think I just broke it down from red to to yellow on his head armor. Chop! Mark head processor mark three. Oh god, I'm really undergeared, aren't I? That's why this is saying the level three enemy is because uh all their gear is level three, and all my gear is level one. I kind of forgot a bit, but like you do need to focus on attacking. Thankfully, I can just chop a bunch of level three pieces of equipment and then convert them to level two of scrap at a rate of two to one, so that's fine. Is there an item back there? Oh, thank God they didn't kill me. I was like, that looks like an item back there. I thought, like, you better not have just fucking killed me for walking in the water a little bit on foot. If they're just gonna awkwardly teleport you back one foot, though, I feel like they might as well just have put an invisible wall there to stop you from going in in the first place. Up arrows? That is interesting up there. Can you go on the inside of the tube at some point? But yeah, I need to chop their armored chunks more consistently so I can actually upgrade my stuff. I was struggling with the combat system partly because I was trying to engage with the systems that are harder to use but more satisfying to pull off. Where's your armored piece? There you yeah, yeah. No, there, there we go. Hi! Got there. Is he supposed to be fighting back? Are you okay, buddy? Am I a bad person? <laughs> am I- am I a bad person? He didn't fight back. I feel like I might be a bad person. <laughs> I just bullied that man to death. Oh, that's not a ramp. Or it is, but not here. It's a ramp elsewhere. Oh, we haven't seen this for a bit. The power of exosuits compels you. Did you just break in here? Come to Penny at once. What? <laughs> That's a voice actor. Once you chop, you can't stop. Is she a butcher? Penny the butcher. Drying rack. Hi. Friend. Are you friend? Huh! That scared the shit out of me. That was super loud. Why does that door knock every time I walk up to it? They want, oh, that's that's weird. So they were definitely setting up. They're working on some kind of like system where you eavesdrop through doors, basically. But like, <laughs> it's, this some of the triggers are weird. Like that one guy that just said the same line over and over again in that first episode. My door is open to everyone, sweetheart. But this is outrageous. Looks like I've caught myself a shoplifter. Sorry, how can I make up for it? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'll just take back what belongs to me. I'm not surprised, though. Not one bit. I've seen desperation like this in a lot of people. Hunger drives us to do things we never thought possible. I hate to let you leave on an empty stomach. If only my cooling chamber was working. I'd take real good care of you. Still, it's useless. I won't be able to do anything without a spare part. I can help. That's wonderful, sweetheart. You're a real lifesaver. You just have to find one of those bots scuttling around all over Port Nixon and salvage a spare part. Should be easy as pie for someone of your abilities. Do I not already have one? Nice place you got here. Trying to wrap me around your little finger, sweetheart? Good news! It's working! <laughs> this character... Isn't it too dangerous here? Never thought about it! Port Nixon is the only home I've ever known! I love everyone here to bits! My mama always told me, The way to a man's heart is through his stomach, Penny! 
Ever since the shit hit the fan, feeding our neighbors has become my mission in life. Such a silly girl, huh? Uh, I feel like she's a cannibal. <laughs> you love them to bits. If only my cooling chamber was working, I'd take good care of you. Like, you're gonna chop me up and put me in the fridge? Still, that's a lot of meat you got just lying around here if your cooling chamber's not working, apparently. Also, she said that she's gonna take back what I stole, but what did I... What did I take? There's nothing in here. How's the spare part hunt going, sweetheart? Also, never thought about it being dangerous here? It's inescapable. You get attacked for walking. Can I see your wares? Sure. But I am not allowed to sell my best wares in here. That's the law of the wasteland, sweetheart. If someone gave those ruffians on Main Street a taste of their own medicine, I might be able to sell you some special stuff over the counter. She just sells Omni cells. A smell saver? Cryptodynamo, when health is low, gain and energy gain is increased. Ooh. Only 20% though. And I also, I just generally don't like strategies that are built around having low health. They make me nervous. Increased defense when you have low health is always like, oh, okay. I get it. Is she just ignoring that the door keeps getting knocked on? I'm just going to assume it's like kind of clumsy, uh, like environmental storytelling device that just doesn't really make sense. The weird knocking. But the, uh, shit, I lost track. Oh, yeah. There's, there's some appeal to the idea of having your defense go up when you're low on health. But uh, aside from that, a lot of the other options aren't amazing. There's, there's a bunch of these. I definitely don't like the idea of like, ooh, my whole strategy is to get my health low on purpose and then just do massive damage because I do amplify damage at low health, but you have to do it by playing perfectly and never taking a hit. And it's like, alright. You know, at that point you're playing the game so well you basically don't even take a you don't even basically don't even benefit from the attack damage bonus in the first place, because you were just going to win no matter what. <laughs> so this is just you flexing on the game. And then the the issue with defense bonuses when you're low on health is that they have to be fucking massive otherwise you're just gonna die in one hit anyway because you're already low on health oh my death was avenged somehow somewhere i'm not sure who did that but okay maybe in other worlds it's like man this guy killed a player that's crazy ah this door doesn't open from this side Ooh. sharpened your minds when the unrighteous came to tear down our great works. You drove them from our homes and defended our creed. But the combat drugs were only a means to an end. Enlightenment comes not only from purity of action, but also from purity of thought. Seek transcendence and be reborn. Make a pilgrimage to the cathedral and become one with the spark again before it is too late. My poor benighted children. It is I, Celeste, your humble matriarch. Even though you accept the truth of the spark in your hearts, you've strayed from my teachings. The path to deliverance is not through mind-altering narcotics. Do not, my children, become addicted to a mere tool. You did well to use our chemicals defending our sacred sites. They strengthened your arms and sharpened your minds when the unrighteous came to tear down our great works. You drove them from our homes and defended it's weird that, like, everyone uses holographic displays. Because the holographic displays are surely more expensive than just a screen. But they're so much worse. <laughs> like, these are just bad screens, and it's the future. Look at these scan lines. Why? Oh, that's not a, that's just somebody's spray. It's distracting because it's just fucking floating in the middle of the room. This is this room this whole room's obsessed with with Iron Mouse. It lives, it sniffs, it conquers. The rusty rat. Loyal sidekick to the furry hero. 
Oh yeah, he's just he's a little shaped differently, isn't he? Okay, I'm. St you gotta be careful. I'm gonna lose track of all the different paths that I'm seeing along the way. Let's go back. I think this is like a whole thing. So, let's see this one. Maybe it's a dead end. I'm trying to keep the whole level in my head. Shit, this might be a whole thing too. Rude. There's a lot of enemies around here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll try the other one first. Maybe I can even approach the same fight, but from a cooler angle because I'm up I'm up high. It's another hack spot. Oh. Oh, we're back here. Uh, where am I? This is like the beginning of the level. So I just opened up this door. Is this the... Is this where the med center is? Yeah. I was gonna say. I found my way back. 1353 metal scrap. That's a weird amount of metal scrap to have in physical. I thought they all, I thought all the metal scrap pieces were like a hundred and two hundred and so on. So it ending with fifty three is a weird amount of scrap, but whatever. Um, construct. There's the spark, the spark aspirant headgear set. Partial set bonus reduced the duration of poison affliction. Full set bonus increased attack speed while afflicted with point by poison. I feel like those are conflicted interests. If anything, the partial set bonus should reduce or nullify the damage you take from poison. Because the full set bonus gives you a bonus for being poisoned. So why do you want the poison to have reduced duration if it makes you stronger? Obviously it's because it hurts you, but yeah. like. I feel like a, 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 a thing that lets you stay poisoned but not get damaged as much would be better if it's giving you an increased attack speed. I'm pretty sure I'm not making the Spark Aspirant set, though. That seems like a, a nightmare. Meanwhile, I don't have the Vulture set researched, so that'll also be left behind for now. <sighs> I can upgrade my spear? Yes. I need to convert, I guess. Yeah, I straight up, like, didn't get enough... I didn't do enough farming, I guess, earlier in the game. And so... And now I have to... Now I'm chopping off Mark III slots and turning them into Mark II slots. Thankfully, they convert into a larger stack of the previous one. But at least there's that. Let's upgrade my helm to give me... My defense will go from 7 to 14 on my helm, and I'll gain 2% bonus damage against unarmored, I guess. Upgrades are upgrades. Ooh. Oh, there's a cell regenerator. Hmm. Increases the pre-charges, but I'm not even using this yet, so it's probably not worth spending on quite yet. Happy to have a stronger weapon, though. That'll go a long way. More levels. There we go. Everything's a 12 now. I'm <laughs> I have the build of an asshole. <laughs> just leveling everything equally, but I just don't see a reason not to. It keeps my bad behaviors of the past in check. Iron oh yeah. Iron comic store. It's a store just for one comic. In what universe? The comics industry struggles so hard. Like, I think I've generally heard that even now, most comics don't turn that much of a profit, and they're basically just used as, like, a research center. Like, Marvel and DC, as far as I'm aware, basically just make their comics these days as, like, a testing bed 
for their uh also this is how there's a joke to be made here about like nerds being like radicalized by media or something right <laughs> like this is a comic shop and there's just like a fucking talking head radicalizing them right there and that's just all that's in this room is those two things let's get out of, let's get out of range That was all there was to do up there, right? Yeah. I thought I saw a bunch of branching paths, but then I realized where I was, and I was like, oh shit, we're back here. So, that, so this is the only way to go now. But as far as I'm aware, I think they currently just use uh, comic books to like workshop storylines. Like they're as a test bed for what kind of storylines they want to make in, uh, into movies. That's supposed to be. The idea, more or less. It's probably not a coincidence that around the time the movies were doing a Civil War storyline, the comics were doing a Civil War 2 storyline, for example. Like, can we do another Civil War, like, later? It's kind of the, uh... That's my understanding, is basically how that stuff gets funded these days, is that it's all a money-making scheme for the movies, because the movies make so much money that that becomes the primary incentive to make the comics at all, is to test out ideas to then turn into more movies. Because the comics are low cost, like... It doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't matter, it doesn't matter how good your writer is and how good your artist is, like... Paying, like, five people to make a comic is never a real cost compared to the, what goes into, like, movies and whatnot. Oh, he fell. There wasn't a path between us. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Like, a comic, a comic usually has, like, a writer a storyboarder sketcher person and then like in like the, the person doesn't like the main art then there's like an inker and a colorist it's just not that many people like even if they're getting paid well which they often probably aren't uh it's just not that fucking expensive compared to like the five billion people that work on a movie and the hundreds of millions of dollars at stake in those contexts so it totally makes sense that they'd like fucking test bed these storylines first in a different context entirely. Get out. Whoop. Chop chop. I would like I would like your leg. Actually, I should, probably should be going for the hel the armor. Yeah. There we go. Eat those up real quick before I lose them. Out. Fuck. Yep, shit, my stamina. I gotta get on I gotta get on that. It's hard to keep an eye on my stamina on the bottom of the screen when I'm looking at like the dodge like the I'm looking at the fight. I'm trying to keep an eye on all these other mechanics going on. And like the counter attack bars. Fuck! Fuck! Into the blender. Thought his combo was over. No, don't go into it again! I'm a disaster. There we go. I did not do that fight well, which is funny because I think the other guy was practically the same person and I destroyed him. I am inconsistent in this game. It's weird to think about the way that this stuff kind of works together though, like... The comics industry at this point is now... At least, well, those parts of it at least are in some way just kind of like the pre-production arm of Hollywood. <laughs> I can't, oop. Hello. You wouldn't be hiding something from me, would you, game? Hello. A friendly. Large pile of scrap. I just stole your shit. How do you feel about that? Welcome to my office. Hey, uh, don't take this the wrong way. 
but you look like you've seen better days. You get mugged or something? If you need a bit of cash to get back on your feet, I might be able to help. Are you Finn? I guess my reputation precedes me. Yeah, guilty as charged. I'm Finn the moneylender. You want to get in business or what? So what's your deal? What deal? I'm just a businessman trying to give back to the community. Times are tough. People are dying on the streets. I'm just helping where I can. I heard Miss Fox owes you 2,000 tech scrap. 2,000 tech scrap? You have to be joking. If this goes on much longer, I won't be able to feed my family. What? What? That line didn't make any sense. 2,000 tech scrap? You gotta be kidding me. If this goes on, I won't be able to feed my family. He sounds like I'm charging him 2,000 tech scrap. What was that line? I'll have to think about this. Think about what? This conversation's incoherent. Of course. Take all the time you need. What? Am I insane? Claire's you're doing business with you. Hit me up later. Why did he s Why did he just say that when I started the conversation? That's that's what you say at the end of a conversation. Is his dialogue bugged? Two thousand tech scrap? You have to be joking. If this goes on much longer, I won't be able to feed my family. What? I don't have the money. If only you'd understand. What? Talk like a person. What the fuck is ha What the fuck is happening? I <laughs> Developer of game, are you okay? Like this <laughs> that conversation's broken as far as I can tell. But like it sounds like they wrote dialogue for him. That doesn't match up with the, what the conversation would be anyway. So like, it's just a, it's just a mess. You can't tell what the fuck the conversation's even supposed to be like. I, what? <laughs> also, he's he's a little secret spot. It's hard to. He's he's very missable. What? How do I, where do I? Uh, let's see. Now I'm turning around. How do I continue from here? This way. I I'm so just. What, what was that conversation? I think I already went up here, right? I think that's high enough that if you drop down, you'd die. Right, I jumped across there last time. If only you'd understand. That's all he says. Fucking say words. Talk. What? What? Do you, what, do you t what? What do I need to understand? This is Officer Clarkson, recording my final report. We found nanite residue all over Flight 221. One of our scientists identified that damn gunk as rogue process nanites, whatever that means. He got real tight-lipped when I asked him to explain. Classified intel, he said. Yeah, something fishy about all this, but it's yeah, too late now. Those goddamn religious fanatics stole the evidence. I can only pray those bastards don't use the stuff for something vile. Interesting dialogue there. Uh, yeah, so the the plane totally crashed with the infection, essentially. That's maybe how Defrag got to this town in the first place. But it sounds like shit was already going down here. Like, there's already fanatics. Um, I don't know, the timeline's kind of hard to piece together. What this all means. Survivor. I can feel a pulse. The infection levels are way off the charts. Lydia! It's gonna kill you! Try and stay calm. You're safe now. Wait, where, where am I? Don't talk. 
you need to rest. We'll take you someplace safe. Hostiles ain't coming. Get the girl. We gotta move. What the? Why? She's running away. We can't let her get to Terminal Z. For the glory of the spark, purge the heretics. So they found. Oop. So she's just giving me these. Vibrating quick scythe. There's a lot of weapons in here. Uh. Ooh. Look at that twitch. Staff weapon. Quick scythe is about right. Terminology wise, isn't it? Let's see. 112 damage. Bootleg split cleaver. Double duty. This talks about like the wet. Yeah, there's we've seen weapons that split into multiple weapons. I think the trailer for the game showed that too. But yeah, quick attacks. Heavy attacks kind of go back and forth. How the fuck do you use this weapon? Okay. How do they so seamlessly switch it back and forth between two different weapons? Yeah, there's a no sign. Do not jump there. Like as a warning, because it looks like a thing you could jump to, and it's like apparently somebody else already learned that from that mistake. The Negotiator. Gemini. <laughs> I don't think I've seen the punching gloves yet. Oh yeah, I have. That's the first weapon you get is punching gloves. What's the defibrillator? Hammer. Surprise you're swinging at that. <gasps> this is not the best place to practice with weapons. I should walk somewhere else. This witness puzzle that I'm standing on. How does a piece of land like this even happen? Like, oh, I think it's yeah, it's surrounded by deep water. Weird. It should, it should this probably should crumble. You swing this really slowly, I guess, because it's a hammer and that's that weapon type. But it doesn't. It looks like one of the less heavy weapons. <laughs> One's a grabby pincer, and one of them's a buzzsaw. A fire starter. Don't want to jump off a let, let cliff, please. When does the fire come out? <laughs> Can I fire the fire out? As a projectile? The Titan. Yeah, it's heavy duty hammer. I like my spear for now. Did I have another leg? Oh, it's just the other it's just the other copy of the same leg. Gotcha. Sustaining array increases the duration that a battery will possess before decaying. Plus 15 seconds. Nice. Toxic filter reduces the buildup of poison effects. See, I've got three slots. Probably put this uh, physical aggression redirector on. I've got the slot open. That'll make it so that if I target a particular limb, uh, it'll still hit it for 75% damage if it hits something else. Target the turrets. Target the turrets. There you go. I take them out in one hit now. Huh. Ah. Chop chop. I've got a salvage. Stop that. <laughs> oh yeah, you jump down. Yep. Yeah. 
legs. There we go. Prefer not to spend time over there in the bad, bad zone. Ow, shit. Shit. Okay. No, kill him. And you got here. Huh. 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 He's getting shot by his own turret. What a loser. Huh. That'll heal me. No, no, no. Ah, his thing blew up. Fuck you, dude. Now, I get too stuck in my long combos. I have to be careful. I guess I trap myself in situations where I can't react in time. All right, that's a decent number of Mark two and three legs. I should probably move on to farming other chunks if I can. But I won't know until I get to a med center if I have enough. I guess I could I could check probably. But where's the fun in that? Hello. Hi, friend. How you doing? Where are you going? Somebody sneaking up on me? <laughs> I don't want to fight you in there, sir. But I'll end up dodging into, like, poison. Ow, shit. Dude has a range. Chop. I forget which arm is weapon. I think that was weapon. I think I'm supposed to attack his left hand for arm arm armor. Huh. Bye-bye. One of those things you gotta get used to. We need some scrap. Is, is Each of the legs you cut off to get leg uh, upgrades. Head gets you head upgrades. Chest gets you chest upgrades. But with the arms, they ran into a little bit of a, a, little bit of a problem. So like, wait. You have arm armor, but you also have weapon. <laughs> and you can't really target weapon. So they have to give you one arm that gives you arm upgrades and one arm that gives you weapon upgrades. I think it's probably right hand is weapon because that's your dominant hand in most cases. Hello. Does X mean don't go here? Let's find out. Oops. I didn't I didn't register I thought I was just opening a door. Shit. <laughs> That's a zone transition. Where am I? The underground. I was still doing stuff back there. And now the enemies will have respawned. I don't know if I wanted to come here. Hmm. Monsters aren't real, humans are. Join the spark. We're the real monsters! Well, I already went in the door and everyone upstairs will have reset, so I might as well just go in, I guess. If I die right now, where do I respawn? Just the beginning of the zone? There isn't a med bay here? Like, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I haven't been to a med bay yet. Or do I spawn back in the previous zone and have to find my way all the way back to this zone? Time is running out. That guy died without any wounds. <gasps> is this like a... Some sort of like nanobot spray system? It probably is, because that's what my bot does too. 
I'm just thinking about how hard it would be to like try to make a coherent mural on this kind of horrible texture on on multiple like it's it's going over another rock there. The only thing I can think is just like you just tell a bot to try to pr to project it over a surface and it just kind of goes for it. Uh, I think I came here for no reason. I think this whole zone's off limits until I get the zip the zip, zip line ability, because that looks like a death. Or if nothing else, it looks like I can't see down there. So I don't really want to try jumping down there. Zip line frowny face. Yeah, I think I just changed zones for no reason. We'll come back to you later. How fast did this town get this bad? Hi. Huh. Oh god. Beep, 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 beep. Ow. God damn it, I still- God! I still don't have any battery. Crap. Where is it gonna spawn me? Shit, how did I get here? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, it spawned me back here. Oh, his body armor's gone. This time, he's he's randomized apparently. Now his body armor's crushed. Ah! I was taking advantage of the fact that your uh, your health regenerates when you're near your stuff. So when you're when you're near your pickup, you'll regenerate health over time. Which is very abusable and useful. There we go. New implant acquired. Physical aggression stabilizer. If an enemy hits you while you're attacking, tap the block button to nullify damage without entering block state. Doing so will consume stamina. What? What the fuck? That's a bizarre ability to have. If somebody, like, if you're playing sloppily and you're attacking and they hit you, you can counter their attack by just undoing the damage. It consumes stamina, though, and so do, so do your attacks. So, like, you, like, it, it's probably relatively hard to be actively attacking and still have the stamina left over to nullify the damage, presumably. That's, that's what I'm thinking, at least. Okay. Huh. Rude. A lot of this stuff around here. Oh yeah, because I'm back at the same building. I found my way back again. Get off my garbage dump order. You're not wanted here. Well, I built this damn dirty rubbish heap with my own hands. And now I'm not even allowed to doss here. Well, I don't care, do I, Missy? This place is a ruddy minefield anyway. Can't walk a step without falling over another dud EMP grenade. Damn pieces of junk break everything. I'll get back on my feet soon enough. Just you wait. Hmm. He doesn't get along with the locals these days. Which is not surprising. Have you seen them? Every time. <laughs> Upgrade chances. 
But I can, up, can, up, I can upgrade my arms and my legs now, which increases their armor from 10 to 21 across the board, which is a lot. I would like to do that. So we're good. That's that's uh I just gained twenty-two armor. Some progress. I'm only reaching rank two though. I need to I need to re reach rank three next. Right. So when I was talking about potentially being done farming gear, I'm not, because these guys are dropping like like I was like, oh I don't need to get more helm stuff because I already upgraded my helm. No, that was last tier. I need to get to rank three. So no, I need to I definitely need to be still getting heads too. I just need to keep farming gear across the board. I'm like, I'm behind the curve now. And it's gonna really suck when I hit like a boss fight or something and I'm like hilariously behind the curve. Beast tank buster arm gear. Tank buster set. 46 armor on, the, on your arm alone. Partial set bonus. Reduces stamina cost of blocking attacks. That's good. Uh, full set bonus. When a physical attack is received and three or more batteries are filled, one battery is consumed to create an explosion. Whoa. Do you just have a bunch of batteries on hand, then you just explode when you, when you get hit? That's a fun idea, I suppose. Spark Defender's Body Gear. Partial set bonus increases the duration of... Po that's the poison one. Oh wait, no, it's not the same thing, no. Increases the duration of poison applied to enemies. And then increases the damage and impact while afflicted by poison. So it, it gives enemies poison while also making you stronger when you're poisoned. Whereas this one makes you faster when you're poisoned, but also reduces the duration of poison, which seems in contradictory with each other, but... I don't like either of these builds that involve being poisoned. Not really in a hurry to use either of those. Thank you very much. Ding. Just keep, just keep leveling. Uh, the, there we go. Keep saying that a banner from another player has appeared, but I have no idea where it is. I've never seen one. I think I've only seen banners in the middle of that uh that one town. This really shows how committed they are to making stuff and the parts of the environment loop back into each other. We saw all those zip lines, but like, this one comic store is becoming a, a hub on its own that's next to the main hub. You can hear the voice nearby, so you know when you're near this building. But like, there's the front door and now there's the back door and so on. So more and more spots are connecting to this location. Nice, neat little implementation there. It means that if you memorize it really well, you can actually visit every individual chunk of this map that you want to visit on purpose. I have no idea how to get to the item up there. Oh, I think I have to do a jump. Well, I don't have any resources on me, so I'm pretty safe to just kind of go for it. I bet I have to make the jump from here. Shit. Oop, rude. Excuse me. I feel a little bit like a badass right now. Eh. Implant circuitry mark, whatever. Eh, I could go back to the healing spot, but let's maybe not. Here. Oh, I oh I have a store of heals anyway, so I'm fine. I am a okay. Hang on lights. Oh, there's the way forward. That's an aesthetic. Just having the lights hang down. Oh, they're not friends at all. And I kill! Ow! Chop, chop!
I love that spin so much. You feel so cool every time. Yeah, look at me landing 12 shots per second. Huh. <gasps> That's a big one! There's additional enemies around it too? Fuck me. There's turrets and drones and radiation and regular enemies that are already hard enough to fight on their own. And some sort of super bullshit going on. Is that it? it oh yeah, it's a PAX. Yeah, we fought the PAXs last game. He looks damaged though. Maybe it's not very good at fighting you. It doesn't have that much to offer at the moment. You're not. You, see, you almost look like an NPC that might talk to me, but you're an enemy. Boop. I feel like a bad person. Oh yeah, this is straight up a warning. There's a melee enemy around the corner. Buddy. Whenever I see an enemy standing in the open like that, I just... I'm trained to know that the level design means that I'm like, I'm about to turn a corner and there's gonna be an enemy right behind me. Like, I'm just kind of used to that. So I saw him and it was like, there's, there's a guy right there. And then there was. How did you put the poster under the... Why would you put the poster under the rebar? Whatever that, whatever that, whatever, whatever that is. You gonna throw something at me? Oh shit. <laughs> I just knocked him over. You okay, buddy? Hey, come back here. Now. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I chopped his arm off, but he fell off. But it's fine, because his item, his item spawned up here anyway. No! One of them's down there in the scary room with the packs. I don't want to go... Damn it. I don't want to go down there. What? That's where you're looking? Terminal Z. I guess they keep wanting me to look at the Terminal Z sign. I thought we'd want to look at the giant Pax monster that I've never seen in this game before. He seems like a problem. But maybe he's not very receptive. In fact, the giant Pax... Yeah, that might not be a real boss fight. It might just be a reference to the boss from the first game. Because that was the first boss, I think. He seems to have a hacking spot for the EMP attack. You can like blow him up and something, you probably get something as a result. One of the items fell down, but I don't know if I want to go down there. I also don't know if I can survive the fall. I'm very heavy, so I don't trust falls in this game. I've already, I've already made that mistake once. Boop. Done with you. Anyone else in here besides this one guy? We good? Hi. He did not flinch. Boop. Damn it, low. Well. Big get. All right, so I was I was farming poorly for a while, but I'm on I'm on my redemption arc right now. I'll I'll pick up the pieces. I'll fix this playthrough. Damn it! Ooh, there's, a, there's just a whole passage there. Oh, that's rude. Stop that. Ah! Well, there goes that guy. <laughs> Awkward. What do you do? Oh. Wait, can I wait, can I control those drones? Is that what uh Oh. Ooh. offline. 
If I had gone a certain way, would I have seen that thing pointing a gun at me and been like, Oh no, I can't go that way. Huh. I got, maybe I missed my chance to be threatened by him in the first place. He definitely looked like he was guarding that ramp. Or, or maybe this is a tutorial that there's like interactions that let you disable certain things. That was neat. Silly, but neat. 